Austin, where are we drawing today? A Valentine's puppy. A Valentine's puppy. We hope you're going to follow along with us. Now, what else is today? Monday. Monday. And what are we doing this month on Monday? Picking a spotlight winner. Yeah, we're picking artists to spotlight during the lesson. They're just going to pop up. Whoosh! Wabush! Wabush! So be sure to follow along with us and pay attention to see if you're one of the lucky art friends that got spotlight. Now, what are we gonna give the artists that we spotlight? A puppy. No, we're not. <laughs> $20 to Amazon. To buy more art supplies. Yeah. All right, what do our art friends need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Good job. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's first start by drawing our puppy's eyes, and we're gonna draw ovals in the middle of our paper, but we wanna leave some space in between them. So I'm gonna draw one oval right here, and I'm gonna leave a little space and draw another oval over here. Yeah, and then leave a little space. Yeah, that's good, and then another oval. Now at the top of the oval, we're gonna draw a little circle at the top for the highlight. Then we're gonna color in the big oval, but leave the little circles white. <laughs> Now let's draw the outside of the eye. We're gonna draw an oval that goes around like this, but look, it's touching on the inside. See how it's touching on the inside of the pupil? Yeah. And then it's far away on the, on the outside. So inside, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. It kind of makes it look like the eyes are cross-eyed. There you go, and then do another one over here. Oh, good. I like how you repeated the same thing on each side. That's gonna make the puppy look like it's looking to the left. Mine kind of looks a little cross-eyed. Now let's draw the nose. We're gonna draw a V in between, and I'm kind of drawing it towards the top of the eyes. So we're gonna draw a little V in the middle, and then we're gonna connect the top, and then let's color in that upside down triangle. When we fast forward the video, or if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need more time. Let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a curve going off to the left and also off to the right. Looks like a curved W. Next, we're gonna draw the heart that the puppy's holding in its mouth. So we're gonna draw a U, an upside down U, right here. Watch this. We're gonna go up like this, around, and then back down. Look, it's a perfect U. Yeah, we're gonna take the heart one step at a time. Now, on the right side, we're gonna draw a line that comes down further on the right. Yeah, you did it. Now we're gonna draw the rest of the heart. We're gonna draw a curve that goes like this, around, and then comes back and connects to this point down here at the bottom. That's an easy way to draw a heart that's kind of on its side. You did it! Good job, Austin. Hearts are a little difficult, aren't they? Yeah. But if you take it one step at a time, they're a little easier. Now let's draw the rest of the puppy's head. Let's draw the ears. We're gonna draw a straight line that comes down and touches the side, the outside of his eye. So we'll start about here and then come down to about there. Whoosh. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Repeat the same step right about here and then down to about there. <laughs> now we're going to curve around and finish the ear. So we're going to start here, curve around like this, and then look, I'm going to stop above, but leave a little space at the top. So he's going to have floppy ears. There you go. And then we, let's do the same thing on the other side. Curve around, and then leave a little gap at the top. <laughs> I like your ears. Now let's draw the top of his head. We're going to draw a curve. It goes up and then back down and touches the other ear. I'm gonna connect the two ears together. Oh, you're doing such a great job. Now, it's okay that our two puppies look a little different, right? Yeah. They both look awesome, and that's because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice, let's keep drawing a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the bottom of his head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes under. It's gonna connect his ear to the heart and then we're gonna imagine that going under, like under the heart, and then coming over here and connecting to the other ear. Yeah, that's a good spot. Oh my gosh, your puppy is looking amazing. Okay, now we need to draw the body. Let's draw two lines that come down from his head. One on each side. <laughs> and then we're gonna connect the bottom with a straight line like that. Kind of looks like a square or a rectangle. All right, now let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw one 
line in the middle. Then we're going to draw two curves, one on each side. We're going to draw a curve right here and a curve over here on this side for his paws. Whoosh. <laughs> then we're going to draw two lines on each paw for his toes. One, two, and two on the other side. That's a pretty simple way to draw a paw yeah. for a puppy. Good job. Now he's missing two paws, his back legs. We're going to draw another curve that comes out over here and another curve that comes out on the right. Then let's connect him into his body on both sides. <laughs> and let's add those two toes, two toe lines on each side. What's our puppy missing, Austin? A tail. A tail. Let's draw a little curve. Comes out from the side. And then we're going to curve back in and connect to his body. You know what else we could do? We could draw uh, some little hair sticking up from the top of his head. I'm going to draw a zigzag line like that. It looks like an, the letter M. Oh, nice. <laughs> we did it, Austin. We finished our puppies and they look awesome. Our Valentine's puppies. Yeah. And we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, they're going to look so much better colored in. Now this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it if you want to match the same color. Austin, great job on coloring your puppy. He turned out awesome. I especially love the blue eyes. Now you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the same coloring, or you could use your own creativity and color your puppy any way you want. You could add spots if you wanted. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your puppies. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we want to congratulate all of the art friends that we spotlighted during the lesson. Now parents, be sure to private message us on Instagram. Instagram with your email so we know where to send the gift card. How much are we going to send them? Twenty. $20 to buy more? Art supplies. Art supplies. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. <laughs>